I'm Supervisor Ed Wareheim and welcome to Smithtown GTV. Hi, my name is Vincent Puglio. I'm currently the president of the Wisconsin Chamber of Commerce. So the Chamber's mission statement is, is to bring business or bring people into our community. We do that with the uh, concert series that helps to bring business in and around the gazebo. But in this pandemic, it's been very, very difficult. So our job has pivoted to helping people navigate the maze of trying to keep their businesses alive through the SBA and the PPP. We have done as much as we can with social media. We've upgraded our platforms to try and help businesses. We advertise businesses through social media, through Facebook and Twitter and so forth. Rachel, who is our executive director, has done a very good job in making sure that uh, we don't leave uh, any person without any help. We're here by telephone, by email, to try and help anybody that needs to get through that maze. Typically we meet two times. Our executive board meets once a month, and our general meeting, we usually meet the last Tuesday at noon for regular meetings, but because of the pandemic, it's been sporadic. We have to start getting back to meetings because it's important. And those general meetings are to try and educate some of our merchants with people that will help enhance their business. We haven't been able to do that again because COVID has stopped us from you know, larger gatherings. Our home base is Acropolis in this concert, in the plaza. But we try to meet in other locations of members three, four, five times a year. Previously, before I became the town clerk, I spent 26 years in the bar and restaurant business. So I know what small business struggles are all about. I spent nearly most of my life in that industry. We try to give as much information. That's why we hold these monthly meetings and try and have people who could give information to not only seasoned people, but new people. Things have changed over the past 25 or 30 years when it comes to advertising. Back in the day, we did everything by mail, we did everything by a newspaper. Today, it's social media, and we need to educate our new people that are struggling that it is the social media, whether it be Facebook, Twitter, or TikTok, whatever platform there is, that's the way to get to people. Back then, when I was doing it, we did it the old way. This is the new way. There are things that are going on in this concert that I think will help. We have a new senior citizen community coming in, gonna bring $11 million worth of expendable income. That will help every small business up and down Smithtown Boulevard. It'll spill over to those businesses that are in this concert on Jericho Turnpike, down by 347 where the watermill in is and so forth. In order to join the Chamber of Commerce, you go on to our website, fill out the application, and you submit it, along with a check, and you're a member. The best part is, is we do have an app called My Chamber App. My Chamber App is very good in grabbing business. Once you become a member, your name is on there. You can click on there, you can order food, you could make appointments by hair salons. The way the app works is, is once you enter what you want in, it automatically through email or through texting goes to the business. The business, whether it be a restaurant who you're ordering food for to go, will be able to take your order, produce your order, and then while you're driving to the restaurant, the restaurant knows that you're in the parking lot because there's a GPS function in it. That GPS function knows that you're in the parking lot. Now you have a unique number and an ID code. So when a person comes out, they know it's your order. When it comes to partnerships, we try to partner with our local community 
activists if they need help. We try and raise money for the churches. We do have an Escanza Day in September. It's usually the second Sunday in September to bring in other merchants to try and bring people into town. A lot of our vendors in Escanza Day aren't from Escanza. It does bring people into town and it does help the other merchants. As you drive into town, there are places you might not have seen before. Maybe that will help them to come back, especially in the plaza, which is a focal point because the Nesconset Day is right down in front of the gazebo. So we use both sides of the road and the Hornberger family gives us the opportunity to use their parking lot to help expand and continue the Nesconset Day, which was invented and kept going by Al Hornberger. Nesconset Day is now called the Al Hornberger Nesconset Day. He did a very good job and I'm proud to be able to take over along with other people before me, but I am proud to keep it going. Up until last year, we probably had about 90 members, but you know, things are tight this year and we're trying to get a sponsorship like Kings Park got, Kings Park Chamber got a sponsor from T-Mobile. We're trying to see if we could get a sponsorship to try and help because our biggest income is membership fees and our overhead can't be covered because last year we didn't have the concert series which brought up a fair amount of money. Overhead continues to go on. During our next concert day, our county legislator, Leslie Kennedy, we asked her to bring the blood mobile there to help uh, with the blood drive. So we partner with that. Uh, we partner with the Wisconsin Fire Department. And they help us Christmas time with Santa Claus and lighting the tree. We do try and help Boy Scouts, Girl Scouts when it comes to their awards, the Eagle Scout and the Gold Award for the Girl Scouts. We're community minded. The gazebo over in Wisconsin, donated by Al Hornberger, is a focal point and a village green, in my opinion, is really the downtown Wisconsin. The plaza across the street, built back in the 60s, it was one of the first shopping centers. When you move a little further east, you have three relatively renovated shopping plazas. One is the CVS and the Ace Hardware Shopping Center on the south side of the street, and then you have on the north side, just by Nichols Road and Smithtown Boulevard, you have the People's National Bank. And then just a little further west, you have another shopping center with a Wings Place where a 7-Eleven used to be. They then now move to the south side of Nichols and Smithtown Boulevard, and they really beautified that uh, blighted area. And it's doing very, very well. Restaurants are doing a lot more takeout. We're asking people on our social media platforms to please support your local restaurants. Please support your local businesses because without the support of the local community, these businesses are gonna go out of business. The governor had said we can do 50% outside dining, so they went ahead and they fast-tracked an application for people to apply for outside dining. It was so successful that I think that next year it might happen again. The phone number for the Wisconsin Chamber of Commerce is 631-724-2543. The website is wisconsinchamberofcommerce.org. We're on social media, we're on Facebook, we're on Twitter, we're on Instagram. That's the best way to get a hold of us. I mean, I'm a lifelong uh, resident of Wisconsin, live on the same block my whole life. My blood bleeds, Wisconsin town of Smithtown. That's why I was so happy to become the town clerk to be able to contribute to our government. I just think that uh, people do come together. Wisconsin is no different. Uh, other communities that have their issues and their things that they want to do. When it comes to getting what we need in Wisconsin, I believe we do a good job in coming together.